Okay, guys, hey, back out in the garage. We're in front of the Jeep TJ. It's an 01. It's rust free. It's got 60,000 ish miles on it. Come out of Texas. I've owned it for like 10 years now. But hey, I'm working on some modifications. And here's one you can do simple. But let me warn you, I've got modifications on my Jeep. So when I buy parts, guess what happens? Some parts just don't fit well. Let's talk about my part. I'm going to protect my steering box with skid plate. All right, but I'm also going to tow my Jeep behind an RV. Well, I put the hitch stuff on for the RV, and uh, now I can't put this next component on, so I've got to cut it out, notch it out. I'll show you what I'm working on there, and then we'll show you the install. All right, we laid this out, and uh, we cut it with our Sawzall. That's just great. Now, right here, you can see where we're drilling holes. We're drilling a series of holes so we can break this off and then file it smooth because we don't have a way to come in there with a saw and cut it. So uh, let's continue on this project. All right, got her cut. Let's see what happens. We beat on this a little. All right, yeah, so that backs down. And then we can bend it back up here in a minute. Let's see if we keep bending this way. Take off. Looks like she'll break off. So let's see if we put a hammer back there, pry it away. Oh yeah. All right, see, got our piece out, huh? Well, we gotta do a little filing to uh, get rid of our rough edge. You can see we got a real rough, see the real rough edge there? Same thing here, real rough edge. So we're gonna file that. All right, good deal. We got her done. Uh, we're going to go test fit it now, see how well it fits before we do a uh, paint job on it. We already got this bolt loose. Uh, if your uh, TJ's like mine, it's rust free. Look at how beautiful. Factory hardware like new. Uh, if you're like Rusty North, uh, not so much. All right, back with a ratchet. This will make it go easier. Like we got to go a little bit more. You look right here, uh, the nut's hitting. I'm gonna have to notch this down a little bit more for the nut. So what we're gonna do is we get our blue tape and lay it out. About there. And uh, there. And right. There. So we get to notch that out just like I have to notch that out just like it shows right there. Uh, for the clearance for the nut, we didn't take that into our layout. So let's go let's go cut some more.
hard to start it there, so let's make a little file match. Well, we're done drilling. We can't drill any more holes there. It's like a pin cushion. You can use channel locks with a little piece, or you could use a uh, a bigger tool, a uh, a uh, adjustable wrench works really good for this too. Oh, there we go. All right, let's go for another test fit. It looks like we got lots of clearance now. So what we're doing, we're gonna bolt this in we got to mark where to drill our other hole because that one we got to drill and tap into the bumper. Which is up here. All right, now you can see how that fits. See how that fits in there? It's all cut out pretty close. You can see we've got a spot right here. We've got a drill. Now they give you a nut, but there's no way to get the nut behind there. So we're gonna we're gonna drill and tap right there. All right, guys, we've got our tap here set up. All right, we got the proper size drill. You can find that on the internet if you don't have a chart. All right, I'll put this in here. We're going to go drill a hole. There you go. There's a hole. Well, next step is uh, tap it, but first we're going to stop and we're going to take this off. We're going to paint it and then we're going to let it dry while we tap the hole. All right, there's the hole. Here's the tap. Hey, here's something called tap magic. This is great stuff. Put a little of this tap magic on the tap. Always back your tap off to cut your chip. And if that running smooth like that, you got a good thread. Okay, we're back. Hey, all right, so we got this thing uh, lightly painted. Put our bolt in here. Turn this this way. Bolt in the hole. We can uh, set up our wrench and start tightening this a little bit.
All right, once we get it like that, we can start this bolt finger tight. Got our other bolt here. We're going to snug this one up. Put a long extension on here because our uh, paint's still a little damp. So, like I say, we're just going to snug this right there. And we can tighten this. Remember, this is your steering box, so you got to have it tight. There you go. All right, now let's move over and you can see the other bolt. There, you can see that other bolt right through that pan right there. That's the one right there, right here. <clears throat> there we go, good and snug. So, there you can see it, see it from the front, you can see where we cut it out, you can see how that protects the steering box all the way underneath. Hey guys, here we are out in the garage with the project finished. Uh, this is something you can do, I know you can, because it's easy and simple and the only worry you might have is a little rust on that steering box bolt, coat it in oil if you're going to do this on an older Jeep that's got rust. Mine's rust free from Texas. Please like and subscribe. I'll be posting more neat videos and uh, looking forward to uh, seeing you next video. Peace.